Hello, welcome to Club Nappy Boy. Um, my name's Teddy. I'll be your waiter for the night. And uh, where can I get you? You know what? Fuck all that shit, man. You fine as a motherfucker. Now I'm just trying to holler at you, baby. You know what I'm saying? This is what I want you to do. I'ma go. I'ma go to the bar. I'ma put my iPod onto the onto the system. And I just want you to groove them real quick. I'll be right back. Hold on. Plug this in right here. Oh. Welcome to Club Nappy Boy, man. Hey Gerard, can you hold me down for like 15 minutes, man? I need to go holler at this girl real quick, man. For sure, my nigga. <laughs> hey. Straight up. Check it. <laughs> Shit. I got about three cups for me and one cup for you. But I got me some Patron and I got you some Deuce. But I got Louis 13 and that blue kind of gin. But that kind of depends on what mood you kind of in. But it's all good vibes, good lives, good living. T Pain music, black and miles, good liquor. Thinking how I should liquor, or maybe not. Cause soon as I wanna tell her, bet the music gon' stop. Shots of Patron got me lifted. I'm smarter than I ever been. I'm gone but gifted. Every song that came on, I riffed it. Every rap that sounded whack, I ripped it. Now, did it feel good when you took that? Shout it gave me the look, I gave her the look back. Damn, look at that. Is it that she feeling me? Is it that she really wishing she can be an entity? Have kids with me, but first we gotta finish the drink. The same one I got you. It's sitting right here on the bar. <laughs> oh, I see you already fucked up. <laughs> Keep drinking though. <laughs> now everybody put your hands up and let me say, Don't stop the party. And if you fucked up, Everybody put your hands up and let me say, let me say Please give the bartender And if you fucked up, keep on drinking Yeah, hey Take two, I'm in the club room You know how us do, you know how we does Gon' care that we cuz It's strictly liquor, we be ridiculously oblivious to that shit And the smell about to sicken me, ill. Obviously she be feeling my skills And my brain keep on telling me to get out will But if I get the brain, my dick'll make me bust in a grill But my eyes telling me to just chill I must be drunk as hell uh, uh, I mean, like what you do, like in the... Baby, I don't know what to say to you. I know you just fine as hell. So shit. Now everybody put your hands up and let me say. Don't stop the party. Hey. And if you're drunk as fuck, keep on drinking. Hey. Now everybody put your hands up and let me say. Please give the bar to nerve. And if you fucked up, keep on drinking. I'm trying to say that, mama. This all I want you to do with me. Put your drink down, pick it back up, drink it, put it back down, pick it up again, drink it some more, put it down on the bar, slide across the bar, tell somebody to pass you your drink back, pick it up again, put it in my mouth, I'ma take a sip of it, put it back down, I want you to pick it back up, then you take a sip of it, and then both of us drunk as fuck, and the person that you slid it to the first time. Let's go. Just slide with me, baby, you know what I'm saying? Fly on the clouds, you know what I'm saying? Like. We can go G5, well it's really G3, but I ain't trying to brag on it, you know what I'm saying? I do have an airplane. I don't just talk about being on them because I got one. 22 cars, you can't fail with that, baby, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, let's go fly drunk, let's drive drunk, let's be drunk together. In your face. <laughs> with your shirt. You know what to do with that big fat butt? Bigger, bigger, bigger. Anyways, what's good, YouTube? That one, eighty-two. You're back again, once again. And today, people, today we're back for episode number twenty-two of our Pokemon X Wonder Lock. In the last episode, you guys, we made it here to Anastar City and we took on Olympia. Oh, Olympia, gym was from another world. Anyways, we stop. <laughs> we took on Olympia in Anastar City's gym and it attained our seventh Kalos League gym badge. And we're here in Anastar City still, and you can hear the powerful, the powerful, the beautiful music as we stand here in front of the gorgeous, the dazzling, the amazing. Amazing, the wonderful, the stupendous, who says stupendous, the, the amazing sundial here in Star City. But anyways, as you guys saw, we did have a grinding montage at the beginning of this episode, and we finally got some good things in our party. So let's go ahead and check out what our levels are sitting at right now. We have our Gothic Tail at level 51. It's only at 51 because I would, well, well, I'll explain here in a minute, I'll explain here in a minute. Either way, it's level 51, our target goal was level 50, and today I think we're going to actually use our Gothic Tail. And the reason for that is because we haven't really seen Gothic Tail all that much as of late. 
you know, we saw Sylveon in the last episode, we saw Talonflame and Venusaur before that, we saw Rotom a little bit before that, or some shit like that, I don't know. We haven't seen Gothitelle in a while, so we're gonna be using Gothitelle in today's episode, and hopefully, thank God, God, nothing happens to it, but still, either way, it's level 51 with Thunderbolt, Fan Attack, Psy Shock, and Psy Kick. Then we have our Talonflame level 50 with Flame Charge, Acrobatics, Queen Attack, and Fly. Then we have our Venusaur, who has to give a fucking Miracle Seed to! I need to give it the Miracle Seed, I'll, I'll do that here in a minute if I remember, shit. But it's rocking the Poison Bar right now with Sleep Powder, Petal Dance, Leech Seed, and Venom Shock. Fun fact, I think it's at level 50, it learns Petal Blizzard, which is physical, but it only does 90 damage, whereas Petal Dance does 120. So, you tell me. I don't know. <laughs> then we have our Sylvia rocking the Sylph Scarp 2 power of that nice power of Swift. With Shadow Ball, Swift, Toxic, and Moonblast. Then we have our Rotom Fridge rocking the Magnet power of that Thunderbolt with Blizzard, Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt, and Confuse Ray. And then last but not least, finally, Jellicent has come home! We have our Jellicent finally at level 40. It evolved from a Frillish into a Jellicent. That's why I got the tail was level 40, I mean 51, because I wanted to get it a little bit more experience, but eventually I just went ahead and put God Tail back in the PC because I didn't want God Tail to be too super Super OP, over leveled and shit, and I just ended up training up uh, Frillish on the last two levels on its own. But still, it's level 40 now, as you can see, it's still holding the Lucky Egg. It still needs to get some training to get caught up with the rest of the party. It needs about 10 levels or so. So probably the next grinding montage when we get everyone up to 55, maybe. I don't know what I don't know what we're gonna be doing in the next grinding montage. But still, whenever we do the next grinding montage, we'll go ahead and get jealous and level up with the rest of the party. But it has Surf, Nightshade, Confuse Ray, and Recover, and it does not get Shadow Ball by level up. Ah, you know, it's so stupid. So we have to wait until we get to Terminus Cave, where we can go in there and explore and get into its into its into its depths, into the bowels of Terminus Cave to scoop up what is it, TM80 or some shit like that, Shadow Ball, and we can replace Nightshade on that. Um, actually, one of you guys let me know that Jellicent can actually learn Dazzling Gleam. So what I think I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and teach it that now and get rid of Confusory on it because we already have Confusory on our Rotom and I know it's it's still useful to have on both of them but at the same time you know what motherfucker organize these goddamn TMs shit ah shit all right so we're gonna go ahead and teach uh, our Jellicent Dazzling Gleam just just in case you're into any annoying ass Dark types out there we got something to to fuck them up with so let's go ahead and teach Jellicent Dazzling Gleam and see what we can do here get, no actually you know what I'm gonna keep Confuse Ray for now and get rid of Recover because we don't need Recover. We don't need Recover because Recover only recovers what, like half of your maximum HP? When in that turn we could just use a Hyper Potion and get all of your HP back. <laughs> so it's kind of counterproductive to run Recover. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Recover now. And when we get Shadow Ball, I will teach it to. Oh, I'll teach it to Jellicent and get rid of Nightshade on it. So I guess we can just rock Confuse Ray for now. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. I looked up Jellicent's moveset and it turns out it gets a move called Ring Out, which I actually really, really want to try. How it works is the more HP your opponent has, the more damage it does. And like the most damage you can do is 120. So if you attack your opponent that's full HP, you're going to do 120 points of damage to it. Only downside to it is it's a normal type move. And the only normal type Pokemon that get Ring Out is Lickitung and Lickit Licky. And their attacks are kind of dismal. So I'm thinking, I think the highest uh, physical, because the physical move, I think the highest physical attacking Pokemon that gets it is Kabutops. I think, because Kabutops' attack is like base 115 or some shit like that. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I can run like a Choice Scarf or a Choice Bandit, ring out Kabutops, and just bullshit with people in free for all with it. But either way, it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and head over to Lumio City now. Because if you guys remember at the end of the last episode, uh, Lissandre formally announced the world via the Holocaster that he is going to Legion in extreme and total destruction if you're not a part of Team Flair. <laughs> so we have to go stop him. So we need to go ahead and whip out our. Oh, 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 oh. That just reminded me. Literally, I almost forgot. Going into the bag just now reminded me. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? There we go. There we go. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Tell me what you do with that big fat bag. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and call upon our mighty, oh shit, our mighty talent. Oh shit, I almost forgot that too. Anyways, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Let me go ahead and call upon our mighty talent flame. And if you guys are hyped and excited for us to take on Lissandra in today's episode, make sure you smash the out that like button down below for me because your know support is greatly appreciated. And when the video's done, make sure you go check out the latest episode of Ash Gray over in Lumio Station that went up this week. And what I just remembered, before we actually do anything with Lissandra, I have some additional updates to give you guys. Here we've been doing updates, 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 updates. Let's go ahead and see here. 
let's go ahead and take a gander. As you can see, uh, when I was leveling up our Frillish, I actually did some additional training as well. You can see the Beldum that we got evolved into a Med Tang at level 20, and now it has Takedown, Confusion, Metal Claw, and Pursuit. Then I went ahead and, and continued to level up Stop here at level 27. He's just bouncing, doing the damn thing. We have a Charmeleon now. I'm pretty sure it was that the last episode we got a Charmander through Wonder Trade, and now we have a Charmeleon. It's got Scratch, Dragon Rage, Flare Blitz, and Ember. Nice and modest Flare Blitz. Not bad. And last but not least, our modest Fennekin has evolved into a modest Braxton. The reason I'm doing this is so that if anything happens to, like, let's say, Gothitelle or Talonflame or anything like that, or any other uh, member of our team, we have some sort of decent replacements that's not going to take us nine years to level up. You know what I mean? But, at the same time, I did go ahead and journey to Route 16. If you guys remember, uh, uh, Route 15 ran from Lavera City to Denimil Town, and Route 16 runs from Denimil Town to Lumio City. They kind of sort of run parallel. Not really. What's that called when they run like that? That's, that's kind of sort of how they run. Like Lavera to Denimil, Denimil to Lumios. That's kind of sort of how they run. They're almost parallel. Caddy Corner, if you want to say that. I don't know. But, um,. Route 16 I never got to go through because I didn't teach anybody strength to get through there to get to the other side of Lost Hotel. So I went ahead and picked up our little bundle here, taught him strength, moved the boulder, and I only battled two trainers there, but I did get our first encounter, which is this little phantom here, which is named Wonder Nappy. It's got Forest Curse on it. Forest Curse is so hilarious because isn't that isn't that the move that, that gives you the um grass typing? Isn't that the move that, that forces grass typing? The user puts a forest curse on the target, afflicted targets are now grass type as well. So you could actually make someone triple typed with that. So if you have, let's say you use forest curse on Dragonite, it'd be dragon grass and flying. Or dragon flying and grass type now. Yeah, why not? You know, why not? But anyways, you need to wonder trade that thing off. It sucks because it's gonna it's gonna evolve and it's gonna take a little bit longer to wonder trade, but Ain't nobody care. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. So before we even touch Team Flare's laboratory, we're gonna go ahead and wonder trade off this little phantom right ya, yeah, right ya, yeah, and hopefully we can finally get that powerful, that powerful, powerful Mewtwo in return for it. That powerful, powerful Mewtwo in return for it. Oh shit. I thought I fucked something up there for a second, but I didn't. But I didn't, but I didn't, but I didn't. Today's episode might be a tad bit shorter than originally planned. Um, I had to do quite a bit of, well, I don't say grinding, but it took me a little bit longer to get through Frost Cavern and do all that shit than I thought I was going to. And it really just set me back. Uh, I was supposed to record this last night, and a whole bunch of stupid shit came up, and I didn't get the chance to. Um, but yeah, either way, it might be a little bit shorter than, than expected, uh, but we're still going to battle Lissandre and want to trade off this Winter Nappy real quick. And plus, at the same time, I really don't want to feature... Um, going through Team Flare's laboratory. Why do I keep saying that? I'm not fucking Dexter. PK Sparks is the black Dexter, goddammit. Nate from Wisconsin. Nice to meet you, motherfucker. Send me something good, bitch. Send me something good. Ha! Ah! But as I was saying, I don't really want to fit. Oh, gotta cover my eyes. I don't really want to feature uh, Team Flare's laboratory because it's just a giant maze. It's going to take like an extra 20 minutes to get through, and it's just just boring. It's just boring. So I think what's going to end up happening is I'll save that for the granny montage in the next episode and go ahead and get through that. And once we get to Zerosic, or whatever his name is, we'll go ahead and pick up where we left off. We got a Psyduck! Ah! <laughs> we got a Psyduck! Not bad. Why isn't it nicknamed SSTV? Why isn't it nicknamed SSTV? What's wrong with you? Please tell me. You know what? For a while, but a while back, I used to breed Psyducks just because I wanted to. And uh, Psyduck is power. Psyduck is power. I'll tell you that much right now. Please tell me it's five IV. It's got Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine! Oh, it's fucking up. Is this one that you bred off of, or did you catch this in the wild? Route 20 fucking 2. It's got Cloud 9 though, so that's not bad. It's not bad. Ooh, 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 it's mild to the unspecial attack. Not bad, mate. Not bad at all. So Psyduck, nice and powerful. Nice and powerful Psyduck. If anything happens to our Jellicent, I know who I'm scooping up. I know who I'm scooping up. <laughs> Alright, anyways, let's go ahead and get a goddamn move on, do the damn thing here, and head towards, uh, 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 right there. <laughs> head towards where? Head towards right there. That's the Sandre Cafe. Uh, uh, not a fan. Never was a fan. Never will be a fan. Anyways, we got to, um, I thought they were going to say, I thought they were going to battle us automatically, but I guess not. I guess not, motherfucker. I guess not. I guess not, man. I guess not. I think that's the one thing that makes me, how, how do I say this? It was the one thing that I was most excited, stupid phone. It was one thing I was most excited about when X and Y came out, and it's the one thing I'm most excited about. Oh, this is not a good matchup. No, 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 no. No, 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 I think Talonflame's gonna come out and handle this. I mean, I would leave Gothitelle in, because we're five levels over, but still, a crit is a thing, and I'm not trying to get hit with a crit crunch, because Calum would never let me live it down, so... Facade! Excuse you! 
Turn down, turn down for sods, crafty. Turn down, turn down for what? I think I've said that at least like 50 times in my videos. But um, the one thing that I look forward to the most in X and Y, and the one thing that I really look forward to the most in Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, is the feeling of playing a new Pokemon game. Because for the longest time, we've had first, second, third, fourth, and fifth generations. No shit. And everyone's played through it before. But when I sat down and played X and Y for the first time, it was literally. A blind playthrough number one, and it was so much fun because I didn't know what was gonna happen next. You know, I'm playing my favorite game series, Pokemon, and I don't know what's gonna happen next. Like that's so much fun. That's what I liked about the Orange Islands when we did Liquid Crystal was because it felt like a new game. It was something that I hadn't experienced before. And I know that third gen is technically a remake. Well, technically it is a remake, but still it's got new elements, new aspects to it. And at the same time, it's like because they redid so many things, you don't know what you're gonna see next. So to that extent, it's like Oh my god, look at that, it's almost like a new game. So that's what I look forward to the most when it comes to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. You can- Oh no, no, what, 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 no, Night Slash, turn down, turn down, turn down. For what? Because you're trying to kill me, bitch. Hold this Thunderbolt. Ha, got to tell praises the heavens to destroy its enemies. Ha, okay, this kind of sort of scares me because that Night Slash did quite a bit, mate, quite a bit, quite a bit indeed, quite a bit indeed. And I don't think, I don't think that I want to take another one of them. Maybe God's Tale wasn't the greatest idea to use in today's episode. I thought it would be because it's, it's our highest level. I mean, I'm not using it because it's our highest level, but still, I thought it'd be at least somewhat semi decent to use. But no! Nope! Everybody just wants to destroy God's Tale for some reason! <sighs> I don't get it. I don't get it, mate. I don't get it. But you can hold it in a shot. You can hold it in a shot. Hold it in a shot. Yeah! Hold that for me. Venishock is such a sick animation. It just sucks that it's such a low base power unless. You fucking toxic the opponent. <sighs> That's so stupid. Look at how much experience we just got for that. That's what I'm talking about. They give you so much experience in this goddamn game. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And my OCDs tell me to go back to the Pokemon Center, but at the same time, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. No, shit. Hyper Potion, that. Nah. Now I feel like I should have done that because I'm wasting Hyper Potions. Shit. Ah, shit! Alright, let's go ahead. Open Sesame. It's giving off a mysterious vibe. It's a hidden door. Nappy said the password in front of the door. Open Ses- Really, that's the password? That's the motherfucking password. Just open fucking Sesame. Nigga. 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 Anyways, let me stop. <laughs> we stop being stupid. Just go inside. This is like some poetry slam music. You know, when the lights go off in a black household. No, I, I fucked that up. When the lights go off in a white household, they panic. When the lights go off in a black household, they plan it. Shoo ba 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 ba. Shoo ba 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 ba. That's some Dave Chappelle shit. But that music is seriously chill. Holy shit. Oh. He's so powerful. <clears throat> oh shit. Welcome. This world will eventually reach the point of no return. Saving the lives of all is impossible. Only the chosen ones will obtain a ticket to tomorrow. Do you want to have a ticket or do you want to stop me? Show me in battle. Nigga. I mean, I whooped that ass if that's what you're asking for. Ooh, look at him! Why is he so powerful? Oh, I think out of all uh, uh, team villainous henchmen, admins, or whatnot, or leaders, Lissandre is easily the best designed one. He's so intimidating and whatnot. Jesus Christ! I definitely think that. I mean, don't get me wrong. Cyrus is, it was was a sick motherfucker. He wanted to end it all, just like Lissandre does. Uh, he was he was a bit more aggressive about it though. Lissandra's kind of sort of laid back. He's like, oh, all of you are going to die. <laughs> Cyrus is like, you're gonna die. I'm going to the fucking underworld and getting your destruction right now. And I don't care what the fuck happens, you're dying. That was Cyrus. Excuse you. Turn down, Sadie. Turn down. I see you in the background making all types of noises and shit. 
Uh, who else was there? Was there, uh, it was, it was, uh, Giovanni, Giovanni was just slick and cool, he was laid back, he was a motherfucking gangster, because his motherfucking ass, oh wait, let me, let me do a move here real quick, <laughs> his ass, he sat there, really acrobatics me fool. are you kidding me? He was, he was the motherfucker that was sat there and lied to everybody's face, he sat there and ran a criminal, criminal syndicate, lied to everybody, and put up this front as the 8th gym leader in Kanto. Did not give two shits, two fucks. Who else was there? Team, uh, there was Archie and, and, uh, 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 Archie and Maxi. They're, they kind of sort of went off and did their own thing. They were just kind of over there. And then we had Getz. Getz was a bad motherfucker, too. Ooh, he was a bad motherfucker. I can't take anything away from him. That motherfucker wanted to destroy the world in a motherfucking footy pajamas. He did not give two shits. Can you, oh, 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 turn down! My physical attack is not even that high! What's wrong with you? Jesus Christ, why is everybody out to get Gaza Tail today? God, I'll stop talking about team leaders if that's what you want. Jesus Christ. My lord, everyone just wants to just go at Gaza Tail's neck. God damn, I thought we lost him for a second. No, 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 swap, swap, switch Pokemon. Switch Pokemon. Who, want, who wants Pyroar? Who wants Pyroar? Who wants to take on Pyroar? Um, I should have sent out Jellicent. We, no, 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 he'll be too high level. Jellicent's too under level still. Jellicent's got a lot of HP though. Jesus Christ. I kind of want to send out Jellicent and go for a surf, but at the same time, I feel like the Pyro is going to have like Dark Pulse or Crunch or some shit. So, what do? What do? What's the best move? Honestly, Gothitelle is the best move for us because Sylveon, I don't know. Sylveon eats hits, but doesn't really eat hits all that well. And it's a fire type on top of that. Talonflame, maybe. I, I hate relying on Talonflame so much. I can't send out Venusaur or Rotom because Fire will fuck it up. Honestly, God the who I need, but at the same time, if it is Rock and Dark, fuck it. Just Talonflame. <laughs> Go out to Talonflame. It is what it is. There's a, when, it, when it comes to time of crisis like this, I can't worry about which Pokemon I'm using most and what I'm not. So, fuck it. Oh, it's he is. Oh, fuck him. Fuck these niggas. It's like, fuck these niggas. Look at that Pyro. Ooh. I gotta get a Pyro and nickname it Lissandre. That's the perfect nickname for it. I know I had Scar in, in uh, X and Y, but still. Lissandre is just so perfect for it. How about you have an acrobatics right back? Oh, he just ate it up. He just ate it up. Hyper voice. Oh! Eat it up, town! Oh, God. Townflame did not eat that up all that well. Okay, let's go. Well, out speed. Well, out speed. We should kill. We should kill. Unless we get, like, the minimalist of minimal damage. Jesus Christ. Turn down, Pyro. Turn down. It is not that serious. It is not that serious. It's really not that serious. It's not. I, I swear to God, it's not. It's not that serious. All right, Talon Flame, turn down. Giarados, who do we go out to? Because we can't keep you in. Honestly, I kind of sort of want to go out to Gothitelle just to get the T-Bolt off. But again, well, no, 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 I'll go, I'll go out to Gothitelle because what is, what is, what is... I'll go out to Gothitelle and heal because Gyarados doesn't have crunch. So the most it could do is bite. <laughs> it can bite me. Ah, I just bit my cheek. Shit, why did I do that? <laughs> Shit, I just bit my fucking cheek. Ah! Uh, I'm, I'm playing risky right now, but I want I want to have some diversity in my team. And I said I was gonna use God to tell, so I'm gonna use fucking God to tell. Have this hyper potion, and then we'll see. Let's see what the Gyarados does. Cause even with a bite, even if it gets a crit, since it's not Mega Evolved and it's not Stab, I don't think it's gonna kill. Unless it goes for like Water po Aqua. Hello, Aqua Tail. Turn down. Turn that. Turn. Whoa, whoa. A critical hit. Jesus Christ. Turn down. Turn down. It's not necessary. All that intensity is not needed. So first time we're battling the Sandre, we'll battle again. You can you can go ham next time. It's just a friendly sparring match. What the fuck? It's not necessary. It's not necessary. No crit. No crit. No crit. No. No. There we go. Nice and no crit. But this scares me because what's got the tail's base speed? I know Gyarados' base speed is 81. You know what? Let's just put it all on the line. Let's put it on the line and hope that if it out. Ah! Oh, don't crit! Please don't crit! If you crit, I'm dead. If you crit, I'm dead. Don't crit! Ah! Oh my God! We didn't crit. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Sometimes that's fun, I'm not gonna lie. That's fun sometimes to just put it all on the line like that. But still, <sighs> didn't crit, didn't crit, no crit. Everybody was just out to get Gothitelle today. What is wrong? What did Gothitelle do to anybody? Jesus Christ, Sandre. Turn down, turn down. Excellent. I can feel the fire of your convictions burning deep within your heart. Really? It's spicy. Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> your convictions and those of your Pokemon please me. You're here to stop me, but I ask you to wait. I tried to save people and the world with the profit from this lab, but my efforts had no effect. 
the world was just too vast and too full of fools that I couldn't save through my hard work alone. That's why I decided the only way to save the world was to take it all for myself. I don't expect that I will ever make you understand how I think and feel. Try to stop the ultimate weapon if you must, but to do so you have to explore our lab and have our Pokemon battles with all who you meet. Really? That's so stupid. That's so stupid and so straightforward. Oh, and as for the elevator key, one of the Team Flare scientists you met up on your journey has it. <laughs> Saving everything. The world is suffering because of this absurd dream. Alright, nigga. More power to you. Do what you guys to do. I'm gonna have my head back to a motherfucking Pokemon Center so you can continue a little poetry slam over here if you want. <laughs> what? I'm about to heal some motherfucking niggas up real quick. Anyways, you guys, like I said earlier, this episode is gonna be cut a little bit short, the short term than usual. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and travel through the lab and get a hold of that key because I mean, let's be honest. All, all we're gonna see, we're gonna have a couple battles with some Team Flare admins that we've already battled before. As it is, we're gonna meet the Crusaders of Justice, the the robot robotic people that we met before, and I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe all that out the way. And when we get to AZ and Zerosic. I'll go ahead and, and stop, and we'll pick up there in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash the hell out that like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, you guys, make sure you check out the latest episode of Ash Gray over on Lumio Station, which is in fact linked in the description. But with that, thank you once again for checking out the video. You don't mean to, Apple 92. Uh, I'm out.